Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can edit and reset pay runs in Zero Payroll. I use the Australian version of Zero's demo company in this lesson, but it does apply to any version of Zero. So let's jump into the demo company now and take a look. So if we just go to payroll and pay employees. Okay, so I don't have an active pay run there. I'll just start one. And I'll just choose the fortnightly calendar. Okay, so we have three employees there in our pay run. So first I'll show you how you can edit an individual employee. So we'll just go into LeBron. Okay, so this is his pay template for this pay run. And you can see down the bottom, you've got this button here to reset the pay slip. So what I'll do is I'll just add some earnings in there. So we can see we've got a net pay there of $1,298. So if I just add something in there, that's pretty obvious. So um, maybe we'll just put an allowance in there, say $1,000. So that takes his pay up to $1,894. And we'll just come down and save it. And we'll go back to the main screen. Okay, so we can see here now, it's told us a little date there when we've last edited it and his earnings um, has gone up. So that was $1,200 um, or so before. So now it's $1,894. So if we wanted to keep that, we can, and we can go ahead and post the pay run. If we wanted to change that or get rid of it, we can go back in, scroll down and click on reset. Okay, and you can see that that's removed that earnings line now and his pay has gone back to 1298. And if we click on save and we'll go back. Okay, we can see there is net pay is back to 1298. It still left that note there saying that we have edited it, which is true. We've just undone it though. Okay, so let's make another change. We'll go into Oliver. And let's just say uh, we'll put in, say, some more earnings again. We'll just put in some more hours, something a bit silly. Okay, so I've just put a heap more hours in there, so his pay has gone right up. You can actually edit anything. Um, you can do these deductions and taxes, etc. Um, I'm just doing it to the earnings. So we'll click on save and we'll go back. And then if we edit Sally, and let's just say we remove her pay there, and we'll go down and save it. The pay slip's got a negative value, so um, I'll just, in fact, I'll just get rid of that as well. Okay, so now she's got no earnings at all. So we've changed Oliver and we've changed Sally. So if we click on reset pay run, Okay, so that's put their earnings right back to where it was. So you can use that button to reset the entire pay run if you've made multiple changes. And of course, if you want to, you can also delete the pay run if you're just totally unhappy with it or you don't need it for some reason. Okay, so that's just a quick lesson on how you can make edits to your pay runs before you've posted them and how you can reset the edits. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our Zero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.